How's it going, everybody? Zachimus Prime, a.k.a. Zachimus Prime here with another Transformers review. Uh, this time I am reviewing another Power of the Primes figure, Beachcomber. Beachcomber appears to be a really good um, update of the uh, G1 Beachcomber. He's a uh, Legends class figure, what used to be the old Scout class line. And, uh, he's, he's nice. He's, he's got, he's got the, the good, like, G1 look to him. His face sculpt is, is nice. He's got his little, uh, visors there. Let's, mm, I, I always, I always felt that this looked like engine detail on his chest. Um, lots of good painted detail in here. This whole piece here is actually, like, molded in black plastic and painted <laughs> this color. I don't know why that made sense over molding it in gray plastic like the rest of this gray plastic on here. But, yeah, you know, sometimes uh, sometimes the decisions don't make a lot of sense. He's got the um, the actual engine parts on the back, um, which is where they are uh, on the G1 toy and the G1 design. And, um, yeah. Lots of good detail. Good detail that, that, that's going to turn into um, into alt mode detail. Um, but real quickly, let's get down to uh, posability. He's got uh, just a simple uh, swivel here on his head. Can look left and right. His arms will go out all the way. Will they go around all the way? They're just on a simple ball joint connection here. His elbows are also on a ball joint connection, so they'll bend about 90 degrees. And they will swivel freely. Forearm and fist is all one piece. Um, it's just colored nicely. A little bit of... Um, so no wrist rotation there or anything like that. Um, the fist hold does not go all the way through, so he's not going to hold like a long-handled gun. Um, but if you got a small pistol for him, it should work just fine. No waist joint, unfortunately. Um, but that's largely due to the, uh, transformation of him. By the way, that's, that's really cool, like, added detail that ends up on the underside of the car, so you don't really see it. it just kind of looks like some sort of, like, doohickeys and maybe, like, a robot spinal column in there. Kind of fun, kind of weird, but I like it. Ball joints on his hips, so his legs will go all the way forward, most all the way back. You get the full 100% Van Dam right there. Uh, knee joint is just because his knee, his leg folds all the way in on itself for alt mode, so just a crazy amount of range on that. Upper thigh swivel, no um, ankle whatsoever to speak of, though if you have him forward, you can stabilize him a bit with like throwing that roll cage out. I don't know exactly. Yeah, there you go. A little bit of stabilization. Throw them like that. But yeah, so Beachcomber. He's pretty cool. He's a nice update of the G1 design. Um, we are starting to run out of characters that we haven't remade yet. Um, I think we've got in the in the chug line the chug line we've got most of all of the certainly certainly i think we've got all of the g1 there's the season one uh characters down now uh, certainly the autobots and now we're waiting on uh some of the season three ones i don't know but let's get him transformed up to to transform him up for simply all we're going to do is we're going to extend this out exposing that nice little piece of detail there there's a tab on his inside of his arm and a slot right here on his underside. You can plug that into there. Gonna lift this up, lift these up, tab these together, tab these together, and then we're just gonna fold this in on itself. Um, this front part here does not really um, seat in here solidly as it is. Um, it kind of relies on pegging these parts together to really make it work. But even still, um, given the 
given the the collapsing nature of this joint here and the the ball joint nature of this joint here it's not super solid but i mean it on a scale of like you know one to on a scale of like 10 to wheelie i mean it's not bad and there he is in his alt mode he makes a really nice little little beachcomber you know he's got his engine detail back here kind of visible head syndrome it would have been super cool if they had like some sort of panel that folded over here that just came back around and close that off. Um, good little like shocks on, on his wheels. Um, he does roll quite freely. These are pinned and these are clipped on. Um, but everything, everything just rolls really well. And he looks really good. You know, um, he will fit a, um, well, I mean, he'll fit a Titan Master. He'll fit it one of the new Prime Masters, which I don't have any Prime Masters on me yet, but I do have a Titan Master, so he just plugs in via the, uh, the foot peg and, uh, just close that on up. And, uh, there he is. Braun is driving, uh, Beachcomber, so... All in all, though, he's a he's a nice little figure. Um, one of the ones that when I initially saw him at the uh, oh gosh, was it only last year? Toy Fair last year when we first saw Power of the Primes. Um, this is definitely one of the figures that I was looked at, and I was like, oh, that's actually kind of cool. And so, definitely a figure that you can recommend. But anyhow. That's it for uh, this guy. Just a real short review. A real uh, simple, nice figure. Um, this is Zachamus Prime signing off. And uh, everybody, be good to each other. See ya.